hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to set up your user app and update fifa 23 legacy edition to eafc 25 if you are new subscribe and hit the notifications button so without wasting much time let's begin the tutorial first of press the settings icon right here Then find an option which says manage user folder right here. We are first of all going to install prod keys which are very important. Prod keys and title keys. So first scroll down and find the option which says install prod keys right here. Then click and then it will bring you to your manage folder then find your prod keys don't worry if you do not have prod keys the link is in the description for prod keys and title keys so click on the prod keys right here as you can see the prod keys are, are successfully installed now let's install title keys it's the same process go on an option which says install prod keys right here then now this time click on title keys right here so we are done with prod keys and title keys we just need to install now the gpu driver next to install the GPU driver, click on an option which says GPU driver manager right here. Then press on the plus icon which says install right here. So back to the manager folder. Then find where your GPU driver is. If you do not have I'll provide the link for you to download on your smartphone. GPU drivers are available on Snapdragon devices only. So I'll click on Tanip 23.3.0 version. This version is compatible, is compatible with my phone, which is Snapdragon 750G. So let me click on it right here so as you can see my gpu driver is successfully installed on user hub next we need to set up our game folders to set up our game folders let's click on an option which says manage game folders right here then click or press on the button on the press button right here so now find where your games are located on the game folders or manager folders in my case my games are located on the game folders right here so i'll press and then i'll click on the button which says use this folder right here then i'll press allow right here then I'll first of all allow it to disk to deep scan. Then I'll press OK right here. So now let's make sure that our, our games are displayed on the menu option. Okay, as you can see, the games are now shown or displayed. On the games op games page right here so now let's set up fifa 23 legacy edition to do that click and load on fifa 23 legacy edition icon then first of all let's install the latest save data for transfers and squad updates right here then press OK. 
if you do not have the latest save data it's down below in the description or comment section I'll provide the link don't worry okay so as you can see price on the EFC 25 uh, right here it's showing importing save files and now it's successfully imported easy and simple so now let's update the test kits to do that click on the option which says add-ons right here then press on the button which says install right here here it's very important to choose content type option now you need to choose mods and sheets right here right here then press ok right here ok so now find your mods and sheets file if you do not have of course i'll provide the download link in the description or comment section you need to extract the file using the zarchiver app if you do not have the zarchiver app i'll provide the download link in the description so press on the folder again click on the folder until it brings you to the folder which says roms fs right here then press on the button which says use this folder right here then press allow okay so now we are done with most of this now we just need to set up the graphics so that our games is able to learn smoothly on our smartphone first of all go on into the graphics options right here then start with accuracy level right here then change the accuracy level to high right here next choose the resolution right here reduce it to 0.75x right here scroll down then find an option which says fsr sharpness sorry right here reduce the fr sharpness to 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 10 percent then press ok ok so now if you want full screen mode go on aspect ratio right here then press on stretch to window right here ok so you can use this option which says force maximum crooks it's only available on adreno devices only which is snapdragon so my device is snapdragon 750g so i'll allow this then i think i'm done with the settings now let's test the game to see how it's able to run let's do that without wasting much time Press on start right here. Then select costume right here. Then press OK right here. Sports, it's in the game.
This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It should do. Just look at the quality down there. Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Di Sassi. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Bruno Fernandes has it. Marcus Rashford. Really good attacking play. Well, that's not textbook defending. And it didn't happen for them in attack. Sancho now. Fofana. Caicedo. Failed to keep hold of it. Now De Ligt. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Just wanted to get it out of there. Now, De Ligt, plenty of options. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Free kick to Chelsea. Bruno Fernandes has it. Mang. Rashford. Opportunity to take the lead. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here we go again. Just look at the way the ball starts to dip so sharply through its flight. That's the result of the perfect contact as it was struck. So difficult for a goalkeeper to deal with. Underway once more. Manchester United have hit the front. Possession lost. Bruno Fernandes. was a menacing attack but tidied up Fernandez and Kunku has it given away by Manchester United and Kunku well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat Bruno Fernandes has it possession given away unfortunately Palmer Nkunku has it it's with Martinez now Casemiro Masraoui here and they'll get ready for the throw in Casemiro Bruno Fernandes has it Chance to cross, takes aim, and the keeper getting across to stop it. Corner awarded to Manchester United. Well, nearly shaving the post with that header. 